I have um, cleaned and cut up as much of the fat in the membrane as I could possibly get off. You know, this this is a, a, a really a tedious, hard task. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't know if people want to, you know, be doing, taking all the time, trying to get all of it off. But this is the best that I'm going to do this. Like I said, I didn't say I was an expert. <clears throat> The my, my, my it's clean and uh, all clean, and I cut some fat off the front and everything. Now what I do is I take a little vinegar, I cover it in vinegar, now what I would have did was let it sit overnight in the vinegar and the, the seasoning, but I'm just, like I said, I'm just getting started. Just getting started. So, I done sprinkle the vinegar on that right now. Let's get over here. We're going to make a rub. <clears throat> now, people, you can make your rub any kind of way you like. Um, any kind of way. People, a lot of people say, "Oh, well, you should do this. You shouldn't do that." But you can make your rub any kind of way you like. And all you got to do is know what flavors. Tastes right and what goes together. So I'm gonna tell you how I make my rub. And what I did, I measured it out so you will know. I usually don't measure it, but I did measure it out for you all to know. So I'm gonna take a teaspoon of soul food seasoning, a teaspoon of dried basil leaves, a teaspoon of just generic seasoned salt. I mean tablespoon, tablespoon, folks, tablespoon. A tablespoon of dry mustard. A teaspoon of Italian seasoning. A, a tablespoon of rub sage, of sage. A teaspoon of crushed red pepper. A teaspoon of cayenne pepper, ground cayenne pepper. A teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of steak seasoning, and it's just all generic, whatever brand. You ain't got to go out and better most expensive bread. A tablespoon of paprika. A um, tablespoon of chicken seasoning, just a generic brand of chicken seasoning. A teaspoon of leaf tarragon. A tablespoon of parsley flakes, dry parsley flakes, and a tablespoon of rotisserie chicken seasoning. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of garlic powder. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic pepper. I'm going to add another take two tablespoons of garlic pepper. And like I said, there is no special way that you make a rub. Your rub... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Spicy. <coughs> I done got to me. Trying to be professional. Those spices don't work me. And then I'm going to put a tablespoon of zesty seasoning salt. And uh, uh, the last thing, a teaspoon of uh, ground basil. So that's the rub. And what I'm going to do, I had a little whisk. I don't know what I did with And a, a teaspoon of onion powder. And like I said, it don't matter. You know, it don't matter what brand. Yeah, some spices are better. People swear by McCormick. But 
my thing is, by the time you get through adding all your own stuff anyway, it don't make a difference anyway. But they swear by McCormick. But I'm going to whisk all this together. God, if you all can smell this aroma, uh, 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 how it's coming together. And then I'm going to... Come over here. And then I'm going to season the, the back of it first. I did dry my hand and wipe them, you all, so you won't think. I didn't just do like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let the ribs, after I season all of them in vinegar, I'm going to let them sit for about 40 minutes so they can get room temperature before I put them on the grill. And by that time, the spices will kind of uh, uh, marinate in them a little. But, but for the most part, folks, if you can, do this at night, the night before. And like I say, a mix of spices is nothing but what you like to put in your, how you know how you want your food to taste. Uh, everyone knows that I like a lot of spice in everything. So make your spice kind of way you want to. And I'm going to tell you something. It's a smart way just to even make your own city. Just grab you a bunch of flavors that you like, that you're accustomed to. Everybody like garlic powder and onion powder and and seasoned salt, and some people like accent, but I believe just whatever flavors like that you like, you um put them together and, and measure them. Uh, use it for things to obtain salt. Maybe instead of a tablespoon, you put a teaspoon, like the seasoned salt and uh, the garlic salt, things like that. But you know your taste bud, so you just make you up a blend, put it on your food. Let it sit for room to but maybe 40 minutes to an hour or overnight. And then you put it on your grill. Get back at you. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know, I'm a little tongue twisted. And when I get to that word subscribe, thumbs up it. But please, folks, um, comment. And if anything you like to see me make or or you want to know learn, know how to make and a lot and a lot of things I don't know how to make but you can give me the challenge and I guarantee you that if you challenge me to make it I'll make it until then have a happy 4th of July